What's up YouTube? So today is October 8th, 2015. It's currently 11.20 a.m. I'm here at the Pennypack Creek in Northeast Philadelphia. It's finally the beginning of the fall trout season. <laughs> I should be pretty excited when saying that, but you know, from what I heard from my friends yesterday, yesterday was the first day, it wasn't very good. So we will see how today is. Let me check it over here. All right, I'm gonna start setting up my stuff. See if there's any trout around. I'll keep you guys updated. All righty, I just passed the dam between Roosevelt Boulevard and Boston Avenue. I gotta go up on the bridge. We're gonna pretty much check it out. How many people are here? Just a gentle reminder: this is the second day of the fall of the fall trout opening. You know, it is never as crazy as spring, but there are still a lot of people who make it out here. So let's see how it's going. Let's see if I'll be able to find a little quiet spot, you know, to fish at, hopefully. Okay, let's see. How's it going? All right, we got a few people on this side. Got a few people on this side here. Got about three people on this side. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people on this side. Which, sincerely speaking, is not that bad. All right, let's start fishing. How's it going, man? Let's check this side. The water is so clear that it's a little bit scary. fish here come on get a fish get it get it get a fish fish on first one of the day that was quick all righty small but it is a fall trout season remember rainbow trout there we go this is what we call dinner yeah <laughs> beautiful sample so just as you guys should know, trout should be handled with wet hands anyway when you're going to release it. These are stocked by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Pretty much farm raised. The only source of food around Philadelphia and surroundings. So yeah, I'm gonna bake this one tonight. There we go, just took a photo of it. You guys can have a final view. All right, two to go. So let me quickly show you guys the setup that I'm using today. It is a very simple setup. Uh, it's an ultralight setup. I'm using my Shimano Sedona 500 FD with my Daiwa Spimatic rod. Four pounds Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon with three pieces of split shot. Very small because we want to go as finesse as possible. And a size six hook Gamakatsu barbless. Although the barbless doesn't matter at this point with the little floating Berkeley product. Alright, I see another trout. Let's try to catch it. Fish on. 
second one of the day. Yep. Dinner. Came off quite easily because I'm using a barbless hook. And there we go, this is gonna be dinner. Second one of the day. Yep, beautiful. Look, this trout here. Well, what are you doing here, huh, trout? Go back where you belong. What are you swimming so close for, huh? See, peacefully. Just peacefully swimming there. Probably caught and released. Yeah, there's going to be 230, something like that. <laughs> All right, fishy, it's time for you to come up. Come on. <laughs> they got they pack a punch, folks, even though they're stocked and stuff, you know. Uh, they certainly pack a punch. There we go, biggest one of the day, yeah. All right. Alright fellas, Whew, I'm done for the day, caught my limit, which is three trout. Just as a reminder, the fall trout season, let's not forget, the limit per day of a stock trout is three, not five, right? So there you go, I'm done for the day, caught my three trout here at the Penny Pack Creek in Northeast Philadelphia. And you know, as you guys saw, I moved all around, I kind of took a look, memorized what are the best places to fish for them, since I'm going to be coming back tomorrow, the day after until their population gets depleted and you know if you guys want a couple hints or tips to fish for these trout right it is pretty much very simple most of the fish at the beginning of the stocking they're going to be using power bait berkeley products for example i use today these power bait power eggs okay which float in the water very effective against the trout and you know <clears throat> it works really well for them since they were since they were stocked you know they're like farm raised by the pennsylvania fish and boat commission and uh you know when they are pretty much raised they are they eat things that look very similar to this okay like pellets and stuff so they will hit these things okay power bait power eggs power bait in general and uh, you know a couple tips and hints okay most people believe that you don't you, you stay in a fixed position with fishing for trout which is absolutely not true of course as an option you can do that you know just throw your power bait out there and stay in a fixed location however the base the best course to fish for trout is actually to move around and see where they are located at okay as you guys saw in the video today i was using an ultralight setup with very thin line and this small hook is small sinker why is that? Because you want to go finesse. Even with the stock trout, you, you want to go as light as you possibly can, okay? 
the smallest split shot you can find, a small hook so it covers your whole bait so the trout doesn't suspect that there's something wrong with the bait once it hits. Okay, in today's video I was actually using a size 8 gamakatsu hook barbless with a very very small split shot. Okay, so that's like one tip, one hint if you want to come fish for some stock trout. And finally, as you guys saw, the best spot for today was definitely the dam. Okay, there's this little dam between Roosevelt Boulevard and Buston Avenue here at the Pennypack Creek. And apparently they stocked a few buckets under the dam and a few buckets over the dam. Okay, so that's pretty much the best spot for now. I would recommend you guys to come here in the next few days because seriously, after that, the place is just going to be empty okay i'll be back here at the penny pack tomorrow uh, maybe i will use the spinners tomorrow see if you see if i can catch anything you know kind of vary a little bit from the traditional power bait so i'll keep you guys in touch okay if you decide to catch some trout happy trout hope you catch a lot hope you eat a lot these fish are actually edible so you know highly recommend that take them home to eat okay and if you're going to cpr the trout please do not forget wet your hands first treat the trout very carefully because they are very very sensitive fish okay they, they are one of those sensitive ty sensitive types of fish that you have to handle extra well okay kind of same category as the walleye all right i'll see you guys next time tie lines thanks for watching